the same time. Not necessarily, no. No. Okay. No. But Please continue. What happens when, uh, let's say an accident happened, which is very common in the galaxies, things move, it's like a bullet coming into a body of the man and you move something. What happens if a twin star comes in collision with another planetary system, with another structure in the, gal in the galaxy of itself, which happens quite often? What would happen to our system? Emotionally, that, we'd feel it. Mm, the combination of uh, physical manifestation of this, we will see total change in the position, feel the strength of our solar system. We will see the horizon totally changing. Not the horizon of our solar system, but the horizon of our stars. Um, we will get a different, what we call, star formations, the way we see it now. Are the star formations we see now is connected how our twin system is moving with us. If that twin system is not there, gets destroyed, we have to lock in. The system has to find a new position and a new condition. Mm. This is when we we'll know that we lost or our, what we call twin star, has come into a new dimension. This is not something which is impossible. It happens as, as day and night. Matters in the universe collide. We've been lucky yeah. for past billions of years. Our solar system, with its twin, has not, or what do you call it, have not been part of this. But it's inevitable, one day will happen. It could be a billion years down the line, it could be tomorrow. But the only time we know something has happened to our twin system is when our, what we call horizon, our skyline, position of the stars, totally changes rapidly. Right. We see a new setting, we see new, what we call, what we call all these things, we give a name, different formation, might not even exist anymore. Because well, you mean the constellations? From that our point of sky. view, yes, from yeah, our yeah, point yeah. of view, because we move to a new position. Right. And the the system is very the the galaxial systems like our solar system in the galaxy are very vulnerable to this. Very vulnerable. When we see it, our scientists made a lot of observation. Our twin star is a loose bullet rotating in the field of the galaxy, as we are a loose bullet, but. This loose bullet, it has connection, it has a balance which balances itself in interaction with other uh, solar systems. When you see, when you look at our solar system in, in the planetary system, uh, in this galaxy, our position is fixed because everybody, it's like, you know, you go on these big carousels, you're hanging off a chain like about 10 meter from the top, but mm. it's Hundred of you, you're all rotating around, but your position is fixed. We are exactly on that carousel, but we are in the carousel mm -hmm. of the galaxy. Every position is fixed, how and who and where it comes. But with the difference that these chains hanging with the chain at the bottom, you sit in these carousels, have the control of their own movement in respect to the others, because if they move, the other ones have to move. Mm -hmm. so nothing internally is the same because they absorb different energy in different parts they release different energy in other parts okay. we are due we are due for a meeting with our twin star we come close to each other very soon in really? the thousand years 
We do that every time regularly, we know that we, now the knowledge has reached that point, now we see it, we know it. So, every time... Does that have anything, does that have anything to do with uh, what is known as the galactic year? Uh, in a way, yes, in a way, no, but in a way, the combination of the fields pressurizing each other, they come close and they go away. It's a pull of attraction and repulsion. And this, uh, this is something uh, which you will understand in a very short time in teachings. As we come to it, we explain more. 